Elon Musk has officially confirmed that the long-awaited Tesla Model 2, the affordable electric car that has been talked about for more than four years, will finally be revealed in November. Even more interesting, Tesla has already begun producing these vehicles since June, which means the prototypes are not just design concepts anymore, but real working cars prepared for the launch. Musk himself confirmed that mass production will begin before the year ends, and that has only made the conversation more intense. Right now, the biggest question everyone is asking is about the final design. Musk confirmed details during the earnings call, and from that moment, the debate exploded. Some people will absolutely love what Tesla has done, while others will be disappointed. But one thing is clear, this is the only way Tesla can sell the car for around $15,990, at least for the entry-level version. So the real question is, what exactly will this car look like? Will it turn out to be exciting, disappointing, or maybe missing something important? Could this be the car that makes history for Tesla? Let's dive right into everything Elon Musk has revealed and why this Model 2 could change the EV market forever. So what is Tesla's so-called cheap car? For years, people referred to it as the Model 2, though Musk has avoided locking in that name. Following the most recent announcements, we now know the truth. It will not be a completely fresh design, and it will not be the tiny hatchback that rumors kept suggesting. Instead, Musk confirmed during the earnings call that it is basically a version of the Model Y. In his own words, it's just a Model Y. To put it more directly, the Model 2 is likely to be a stripped-down Model Y, smaller in size, built with more basic materials, and without some of the higher cost features. Think of it as a compact, lightweight Model Y made affordable for the masses. This announcement split Tesla's community of fans and customers into two clear groups. On one side, some people were completely shocked and even disappointed. They were expecting something revolutionary, a design unlike anything Tesla had released before, maybe a radical hatchback or an ultra-compact EV that looked totally different. For them, hearing that the Model 2 was simply a budget version of the Model Y felt like a letdown. They were hoping for something bold, something that screamed, next generation. On the other side, there are just as many people who are thrilled. These are the people who always loved the design of the Model Y but could never afford it. For them, this is a golden chance to own a Tesla that still carries the elegance, shape, and personality of the Model Y but at a price point that feels realistic. And when you think about it, that's exactly Tesla's strategy, scaling down costs but keeping the design language consistent enough that it remains attractive. The Tesla Model 2 will officially debut at the Tesla shareholder event which is the company's biggest event of the year and one of the most anticipated by customers and investors alike. If you look back at Tesla's history, you'll notice a pattern. Almost every year around the end of the year, Tesla launches something massive that shakes the industry. This year, that big reveal is expected to be the Model 2. And for Tesla, this is not just another product. It could be the company's lifeline. The reason is simple. Over the past year, Tesla has been struggling with sales fluctuations, especially as the Chinese automaker BYD has surged ahead. BYD has been releasing electric cars at unbelievably low prices, with some starting at just $13,000. That's an insane number compared to Tesla's traditional price points. The competition has never been more fierce. And the numbers prove it. BYD overtook Tesla in the first two quarters of 2025. That was a huge red flag for Musk, and he knew Tesla needed to respond quickly. That's why launching the Model 2 at a shocking price of $15,990 is such a bold move. Four years, Musk had said the affordable Tesla would come in at $25,000, but even that price started to feel outdated as BYD's budget EVs gained popularity. So cutting the target by nearly $10,000 is not just surprising, it's aggressive, it signals that Tesla is ready to fight back. Now, the big question is, how can Tesla even afford to sell a car this cheap? The only way is by making tough trade-offs. A Model Y costs around $50,000, and now Tesla is trying to sell a version of it for less than $16,000. That's an enormous gap. To achieve it, Tesla has had to simplify the design, cut costs on materials, and remove certain features that used to be considered standard for Tesla cars. And while this may frustrate some buyers who are used to luxury features, 
it's the reality of what Tesla must do to compete in this new phase of the EV battle. In fact, if you look closely at the prototype spotted in California, you can already see the differences. The front end has been redesigned. The signature light bar, which is found on Tesla's premium models, has been removed. The headlights have been repositioned higher up, giving the car a simpler and cheaper look. And honestly, this makes sense. A light bar is stylish, but it's not necessary. For a car under $20,000, Tesla had to cut it. The same goes for the panoramic glass roof. That's gone, replaced with a solid painted roof panel. Again, it makes sense. A glass roof feels amazing and open, but it's expensive to build and can make repairs costlier. On a budget model, Tesla has to stick to the essentials. The same pattern shows up at the back of the car. The Model Y has a gorgeous rear light bar that glows beautifully at night. But on the Model 2 that's gone as well. Instead, it looks like Tesla will just use a solid painted panel. Is it less stylish? Yes. But will it save hundreds of dollars per car in production? Absolutely. These are the kinds of decisions Tesla is making to make this car financially viable. Inside the car, more cuts are visible. Instead of vegan leather seats, Tesla is using textile. Instead of multi-layer acoustic glass, it's single layer. Instead of multicolor ambient lighting, you'll get single color. And the number of speakers will be reduced. Put all of that together and yes, the car feels simpler and maybe less premium. But you have to remember the price. $15,990. For that money, it's honestly impressive that Tesla is still able to deliver a car that carries the Tesla brand, includes full self-driving hardware, and still looks like a Model Y from the outside. Speaking of self-driving, Elon Musk made an important confirmation during the quarter 2 earnings call. He said the Model 2 will still have full self-driving hardware, just like Tesla's more expensive models. This is critical because many buyers might use the Model 2 not just as a car but as a robo-taxi once Tesla's full self-driving system is fully approved. So even though Tesla is cutting costs in other areas, they're not removing the most important piece of technology. Here's a quick question for you. Would you be willing to give up luxury features like a glass roof and leather seats if it meant you could get a Tesla for under $16,000? Let me know in the comments because I think this is one of the most important trade-offs for potential buyers. Now, beyond the design and features, there's something much bigger happening behind the scenes. Tesla is preparing to change battery technology forever. For years, Tesla's cheapest cars used LFP batteries. They were reliable, cost-effective, and widely used in the industry. But even LFP batteries are too expensive if Tesla wants to hit this new ultra-competitive price. That's why leaks have suggested that Tesla might use aluminum ion batteries for the Model 2. This is a huge deal. Aluminum ion batteries are faster, safer, cheaper, and potentially offer higher energy density than lithium ion. At a chemistry level, aluminum carries a triple positive charge compared to lithium single charge. This means each aluminum ion can move more electrons, leading to greater efficiency. And the potential energy density is double up to 500 watt-hours per kilogram compared to lithium's 250. That could mean longer range, lighter battery packs, and cheaper costs. And aluminum is everywhere. It's one of the most common elements in the Earth's crust, making up more than 8% of it. Lithium, by comparison, is less than one-tenth of 1%. That means aluminum is not only cheaper but also easier to source. And that's critical. Right now, lithium prices are volatile and unstable, something Musk has complained about for years. Aluminum, on the other hand, is mined in more than 40 countries, making it far more reliable for mass production. If the leaks are correct, Tesla could produce a 53 kilowatt hour aluminum ion battery pack for just over $3,000, compared to more than $5,000 for a lithium iron phosphate pack of the same size. That means Tesla saves around $2,000 per car. Multiply that by millions of units and you're talking about billions of dollars in savings. That's how Tesla can afford to push the price so low while still keeping some margin. And here's the best part. Even though the battery capacity is smaller, the efficiency is so good that the Model 2 could still deliver 300 miles of range. That's a number that puts it ahead of most budget EVs coming from China, especially BYD. 
Imagine buying a Tesla for under $16,000 that can still go 300 miles on a single charge. That's game changing. Would you buy a Tesla Model 2 at $15,990 if it really delivered 300 miles of range? Or would you prefer to pay more for a long range version? Drop your thoughts below because I think this is where Tesla will divide customers. Before we continue, let me remind you if you're enjoying this breakdown of Tesla's future, make sure you subscribe to Torque Element. We're aiming for 2,000 subscribers and your support means everything. So hit that button right now and be part of the community following Tesla's most exciting chapter yet. 